All right, how's everybody doing today? I'm actually in uh, Las Vegas preparing for the ASD trade show, and I got a comment from Neil wondering about how to take an uh, Excel sheet from a supplier and then how to go ahead and get that into AMC Analyzer and get it down to uh, a list of profitable products. Um, so if you guys seen my last video or one of my last videos, I showed you how to take an analyze list from AMZ Analyzer and then put it into Inventory Lab. So this is kind of like the first half of it. Um, which guys, you'd only do that if you need like, if you have like five or more products just because it makes it simple. If you only got a couple profitable products, just copy paste. You don't have to worry about taking it from AMZ Analyzer and then putting it into Inventory Labs. But uh, if you have a lot of them, it's uh, super awesome. And update on that, they're actually... Uh, I was working with Inventory Lab, so thanks Kim if you're watching this, and they're actually putting like the delete buttons and making it easier to import those lists and all those things um, because they saw the last video I posted. So that is great. And guys, I want to go ahead and jump right into this. So here's a list. This is uh, this is actually the first of two because guys, sometimes you're going to get uh, some lists that are really easy and super simple like this one, and then my next one's a little bit tougher. There's a little more steps. And every list you're going to get is different. And I run into all kinds of weird stuff with uh, Excel. But honestly, uh, just Google away. Um, there's so much stuff on Excel. And uh, yeah, just try different stuff. It'll get more easier and easier the more you do it. So let's jump right into this. So this one I have right here. These are my UPCs. These are my prices. I'm just going to go ahead and change this to uh, UPC. And then all I'm going to do is take the prices because AMZ Analyzer wants uh, UPCs and then prices. And then anything after that doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this. I'm going to paste this. Oh, wait, whoops. I don't want to paste that. I want to actually insert cut cells. And now I got my UPCs, my prices. Uh, one thing you'll run into a lot of times is it'll say like merged. Uh, it won't do merge cells or whatever. So click that and then just try this up here. You'll see this merge and center and you'll click and you'll unmerge cells if that happens to you. Um, and then all I'm going to do is go file save as and I'm gonna do my desktop and MS DOS okay so we're gonna do this MS DOS comma separated make sure you get the right one on that because uh, it definitely matters so let's do a test and I'll go ahead and save this so bam let's see if that came up on my so bam so I got that and then all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that and then email it to myself because I'm using a Mac and AMZ Analyzer only works on a Windows. Uh, Bulk Crable will be coming out with uh, one for Mac. I don't know when. Um, I'm sure it's, you know, it's a lot of work. I think it's supposed to be coming out soon, but we'll find out. Uh, and I assume if you guys are watching this, you're definitely interested in selling wholesale and uh, finding products from suppliers and sending them directly into Amazon. So if you're interested in doing that, check out Bo Crable's course down below. If you sign up to that link, uh, I'll be here to help you guys. So you get that added benefit. You'll be able to learn everything through the uh, course, but it's really nice. Like if you get stuck, you can just contact me. Most of the time I can just answer it right off the top of my head and just streamlines uh, the process for you. You can also send me your first handful of products and I will look over and tell you if I think they're profitable or uh, risk involved, things like that. Um, yeah, so really, uh, I'm just really here to streamline things and I've definitely saved some people a lot of money by uh, a lot of people will, like find things with that aren't in a parent category or something like that. And uh, they think the sales are way higher than they are. And I think the biggest question I have is like, will I be able to find suppliers? And yes, you will. Um, like I said, you sign up through my help. If you can't, through my link, if you can't find suppliers, which you should be able to, you're doing something wrong, then I will help you find suppliers. So let's jump back into this. And this is the harder one. Okay, so you can see here we have all these, uh, and sorry about the all the background noise, guys. I'm in Starbucks preparing for this trade show. I'm just trying to make this super quick, so. Um, super crazy busy preparing for this, like crazy busy. So, um, I have all these different pages. You see that stuff, and it's like, all right, well, this is a mess. Like, you'll see like all like uh, these UPC codes, and all this stuff will mess with AMZ Analyzer. So what I want to do first, my computer's running a little slow, is I want to go ahead and take the unit price, cut that. I'm going to insert that cut cell right next to the UPC. And then, guys, what I'm going to do, the quickest way just to kind of clean this up, 
is I'm gonna actually go and start filtering through these. So all we're gonna do is, well, if you guys hear, I'm gonna actually show you. So it's this little button right here, but if that's not there, just click here and then hit filter. So we're gonna click here and I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see all these different things right here. These, we don't need any of these. So um, this takes just a second, but thank God they got this filter because it'd take a lot, a lot, lot longer. Uh, so guys, when I first started, I was like going through um, lists by hand, like going to each one of these and plugging it in and doing it. It's like, un I can't even believe I did that to be blatantly honest. Um, I didn't do it that long, but I did it enough. <laughs> okay, so now you can see here, we have a much more manageable list. It's looking better, right? So I still have all these pages to get rid of that page. You just come down here, you see these two buttons. You're gonna click here. And now looking a lot, lot better. So all I'm gonna do is come to the top, click here, I'm gonna put UPC, I'm gonna put price, capitalize that and then uh, also uh, so you can't do okay so you can't do CSV files if there's multiple sheets so you can see like the three sheets so now what we got to do is just delete this sheet delete this sheet um, and then we should be good to go I'm gonna kind of just look through this make sure we don't have anything else funny but yeah looking good so same thing guys I'm gonna go to file save as and I'm going to, I actually already have this saved, so we'll just do one of them right now. So, um, but guys, one of the biggest things I run in, I know I already said this, but remember this merge cell, if it won't let you do it, unmerge the cells so then you can cut and insert because that's like the number one thing that I run into. So guys, uh, I actually got to bust out my other computer. I'm now going to put these into my email, send them to myself. I'm going to open up my other computer. I can't wait until uh, Bo's uh, other software comes out so I don't have to do this step. Okay guys, I know you probably can't see the best, but all I do is I send it to myself, I go to head download, I actually already downloaded it. I come over to here, and then I have my uh, select product file. I go that test, open, and then you're gonna see it's UPC, um, so product ID, UPC prices. You shouldn't really have to mess with this if you set it up correctly. And then all I'm gonna do is go run. And then you can see here we have found in the source 1500 and then completed. So guys, I'm going to cut forward here and uh, show you once it's all updated. Okay, so you guys can see here that I got my uh, found in source. So all this is completed. So all I'm going to do um, is I'm going to come up here to the top left once again. Sorry about the bad quality. I just I'm doing this on the fly I'm just too busy to uh, <laughs> Figure it out. I normally want to do a bad quality video, but whatever It's really not the important part. So guys check it out. So right now. So we have all these different things uh, We have our ASIN product ID, but I really want is my sales rank and my ROI together and they might be like way down over here or something like that but you're gonna have your sales rank and you're gonna want to click this button so then it lists it and then I'm also gonna do the same well I won't do the same with my R oh shoot which is happening to my ROI um, okay well if you want to add where it is uh, show group in box I th no column chooser so we're gonna come to here and then go find ROI I'm going to stick that back in here, and then all I'm going to do is export. We'll do test two. Okay, so I don't know how well you guys were able to see that. But the biggest thing is you just want to have your sales rank and your ROI right next to each other. But all I did is you just import the file into AMZ Analyzer. As long as you set it up correctly, you hit scan. It's going to scan through everything. Um, and then you go over to the results page, which is one of the top three. There's like three bars. It's the top right one of the three. And then you go into there and it's going to, um, it's going to give you a whole list of everything scanned and you're going to be able to export that. And then it's kind of annoying, but I have to export that over back, uh, send that email that back over to my MacBook. 
Um, just I work so much faster in my MacBook. And, and then here we are. So here's the export list. You can check it out. So I have all my ASINs. I have my product IDs. You see, see here the sales rank is right there. So all I'm going to do, and we have our ROIs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into this filter. Guys, if this filter button right here isn't there, click up here. Once again, hit filter, and it'll be there. So I'm going to filter. And then, guys, this is, it's going to depend on, you're going to want to go to, like, Jungle Scout. But, hey, guys, be wary. Right at this moment, Jungle Scout is kind of out of whack. Um, certain categories are still okay. So definitely, like, um, I've been checking that with, uh, F, so I've been doing that. Like, Jungle Scout, I'll do FBA Toolkit, and then uh, AMZ Scout. And I kind of get the general idea of what's going on. And, I like, certain categories I know better. But there's some categories I'm really like, if you said what's like a good sales rank in like office products, I have no idea. Um, so I'm doing like those three, checking it. And then uh, you definitely want to go in and look at the listing, um, look at like recent reviews and stuff. And if there hasn't been a review for a year, it's probably not selling. Um, so definitely uh, you just want to be wary at this moment. If you guys are doing this, I'm sure they're going to update and get it fixed. But at this moment, definitely be wary. Check all, check everything you can. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to come to here and I'm going to go to choose one. So I'm going to go to, since it's a, uh, since it's a sales rank, I want a certain part or lesson. So, um, let's say I want like, this is video games. So I don't know, you know, let's say 2000 or less, you know, I want high. So we'll go less than or equal to 2000 and bam, you guys can see here. Now we only have the sales rank there but I like you can see here with the ROI there's tons of like negative ROIs I don't care about these negative ROIs it does nothing for me so then I'm gonna go to the ROI I'm gonna go to choose one and then I'm gonna go greater than or equal to and then uh, with percentages it's gonna like be a point so I'm gonna do point uh, let's say it's I want it greater than 20 or let's just say 10 percent whoops point one Okay, guys, and you can see here now I'm left with all of these. So, um, so guys, so essentially you could just keep narrowing this down. You could be like, I want everything. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's say I'm only going to take 50%. So, bam, I'm left with four things. Well, five, what is it? Two, four, five. All right, I'm left with five different um, things here, but say that at this point, I would just copy paste into my inventory labs and do it individually. Um, but let's go back to the ROI of point one. But guys, if it was me and I had all these right here, this is where I would take a CSV file and then I would import that into inventory labs. So then inventory labs just gave it, me the entire list and I could go one through one and do the product research. Um, so I'm not copy paste. I mean, because there's a lot of lot of these on it. There's a lot of copy and paste, and I'd rather just save the file, um, import it, and not have to copy paste like 50 things. So, um, yeah. And then all you're gonna do, guys, after that is once you find some profitable products, you want to contact your supplier, let them know that you want to purchase it or save them for you, um, and then you're gonna go through the rest of it, and they will ship your product straight to Amazon. You will never have to see the product and it will start selling as long as you did your product research correctly. So guys, always be paying attention to like parent categories or subcategories. You know, if it's, if it's not the parent category, you're going to be hurting and you're going to have tons and tons of products in there that won't sell. So once again, um, you know, thanks for checking out Journey Soup. Uh, Neil, I hope this uh, answered your question. I know it's kind of a mess of a video, but um, I hope it got the point across and give you a better idea. I'll maybe do a new video uh, once I get done with this trade show. And if you guys are interested in Bo's course, definitely check the link out down below. And if you sign up through my link, you'll get the added benefit of me personally helping you. You'll be able to learn everything from the course, but I will just be here just to help if you have any questions or just streamline your process. It doesn't cost you any extra. Um, and I really actually do enjoy um, helping you guys and honestly I find after people get a handful of pro few products in uh, they don't really need my help anymore so it's not like uh, my first people I helped out are not still they might ask me a question here or there but they're not like constantly um, you know hitting me up it's really your first like 
your first two months, you know, of getting started is where you're going to need all the help. And that's what I'm here for. So um, definitely check out some of my other videos. Um, please subscribe if you like my content. And we will check you guys later.